ericmothersmother.com. It is for March 13th, 2018. Let's take a look at the cryptocurrencies here trading in the morning. And most of them are down. But I want to take a look at Monero as a template for what we can expect for the entire space. So Monero is down about 4% for the day in live trading. I want to show you what I'm looking at here in terms of potentials. And right now I'm looking at the cryptos close to the day, day lows. If we take a look at Monero's weekly chart, which is what I'm going to be discussing here, is there is an emerging possibility of a major drop if it plays out in the way that I'm going to discuss here. What I'm talking about here is if we break this line on the RSI, in other words, if we drop to all-time lows on the weekly RSI for Monero, that's not going to be a good sign. In fact, this method is based on my method, which I call the ultimate more the short or sell signal. So I'm going to include a link back to this method here, discussing in detail what to look for. In fact, it is just the exact opposite of the ultimate more the breakout. So what I'm saying here is there is an emerging risk. This is the recent low for Monero. And we can set an alert because should we break down below that low on a, on a weekly closing basis of 219.65, which again goes back to this low. And I'm using that as a price gauge, a level to watch because should we break below that, if we break below that, that's going to be a major tell or a major signal telling us that we are way on the on the path of breaking this line now keep in mind if we break below this line of course we don't know but i'm saying the potential is there now that if we break this price and break this rsi lows line we would also be moving below rsi 50 which might ignite further selling now if we take a look and take a look at the MACD also we can see one of the MACDs is very close to moving to all-time lows so if this MACD moves to all-time lows combined with the RSI moving to all-time lows combined with the RSI moving below 50 that can set the stage for a major sell-off so in this video I'm using only Monero's chart because it gives a good capsule or time capsule price capsule of what to expect should we start breaking recent lows in price on a weekly closing basis should we start breaking recent rsi lows should we start breaking recent weekly macd lows so again using monero's chart here there's an emerging possibility that we might be looking at markets that are still going to be pressing the agenda on the downside. Now keep in mind, I have talked about this idea that there is a possibility that the cryptocurrencies are not going to have sustained momentum at least for another three years. So I've been talking about that and that still remains my view that with a broken market after a major run and we had a major run in 2017 a good run in 2017 there's a possibility with the recent pullback that we might be setting the stage for at least forming another base that might take up to three years minimum and if that's the case that's why you'll notice that i have not been recommending the cryptocurrencies because my view is that when you go through a major rally it takes about three years to digest the gains before you can regain your upside momentum and that's my view for now we shall see unless they can break out i think cryptocurrencies are poised for sideways to down action and i'm saying here if we take a look at monero's chart in the here and now monero is suggesting there is a possibility 
that should it go on to break recent daily closing lows that we might be looking at markets that are going to be pushing prices much lower and expect a big down week if and whenever we move below RSI 50 on the weekly for Monero. So that's it for now. Let me leave you here with the current live streaming. Eric Mother, Mother.com. As always, good luck, peace, and blessings. E A C S. Mwah. Woo! Mwah!